Hello everyone, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Yes, Your Grace, a new kingdom management role-playing game where you play as a king in a fantasy medieval world. And uh, this game is really a narrative-driven story experience where you have sort of multiple decisions to make. Petitioners come to you and ask for help. Situations arise and you have to make decisions based off of sort of the information, the limited information that you're presented, and uh, the game sort of plays out over, uh, over uh, a weekly turn-based system. The last episode was pretty hard-hitting, guys. Early in the series, our eldest daughter was married off to the son of another kingdom for aid against a barbarian horde that was threatening to come take her hand anyway. And she was married to Evo, the, the prince of this other kingdom. At her wedding, Evo's father, Talius, was murdered. He was poisoned by an unknown hand. There was a trial. We found the person we thought was most likely guilty. We put them to death. The kingdom, however, that our daughter was married into did not accept that result. In fact, they claimed to, but Evo refused to come to our aid that he was now king. Uh, the, the husband of our daughter was now king. And he refused to come to our aid uh, when the barbarians attacked. And um, the situation sort of unfolded from there. He's now threatening to come and invade and take over our kingdom. Uh, he has now burned his, uh, his wife, our eldest daughter, at the stake for being a witch. And he is threatening to come take our kingdom over. We are closing in on this war. We've been trying to rebuild our forces, but we haven't met with a ton of success. And so that's the situation that we find ourselves in. Our, our uh, wife is pregnant with a son, hopefully a son, we're hoping. We're doing some sort of black magic to try and make sure it is a son. Um, our eldest daughter is dead. Our middle daughter is causing all sorts of sort of headache for us, but she is probably the, the most awesome character in this game. Uh, we have built up enough supplies to withstand the eventual siege when Evo's forces do come knocking. We're trying to appease one of the kingdoms uh, nearby to send us uh, support um, when Evo does come, but it's, it's, a, it's a busy game right now. Oh, and by the way, our daughter has a pet bear. Um, our youngest daughter has a pet bear. So that's the situation right now, guys. Uh, with that being said, uh, I'm going to go ahead and turn this over to a live stream uh, audio. This was taken from a live stream from a couple of weeks back now. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to that. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll catch you guys at the end. Okay, thanks for the food. I didn't need it, but thanks. I will gladly take gold, though. More food? More gold? Well, it's good to know we can always fund the kingdom off the death of our child. Build in a moat. Alright, so the castle is upgraded to its fullest extent. I don't know what the soldier wants. Do we need to do anything outside of here? No? Alright. I don't really want to deal with kingdom stuff, but come on forward, merchant. I think we need a... Sage? Boy, boy. 
Peasant, what do you need? I don't have anything to give you. I'm sorry. Go away. Soldier, what do you want? Alright, so let's go let the... Maybe the Rodovian soldiers will help us if we let them, let them go. to let him go to get the other king's support. They are not our enemies. Boo! That's not fair. People not thrilled with me. We buy. <sighs> All right. The King's Summit. Welcome. I have gathered you here. Yes, yes, we all know. Let's skip the drivel. I aided the Rodovians when they came asking for help. Forgive me, Yerdrick. I had no heart to do otherwise. My soldiers tracked down Rodovians who fled the battlefield. I had to let them go. When I, told, when I look at them, I saw fear and I saw despair. They knew they had lost. They were in an unknown land far from home. They were kids, not much older than your boys, Yerdrick. They didn't fight to conquer. They fought to survive. I didn't have heart to take their lives. My men also brought their king. He was beaten so badly he could hardly move. Defenseless and broken, he explained to me why the Rodovians are here. Life isn't easy for them, just as it isn't easy for us. His, he's a father just trying to defend what's dear to him. That's that he has left. I spared his life that day. I have made my decision, all of which I am ready to face the consequences of. So I leave the last t t decision to you two. Will you help me repel Atenia from my gates? You saved many lives, Eric. I know it was a tough choice, but we all gain from it. The fact that you saved them all gives me hope for our future. It brings me joy to my heart that there are good men amongst us and willing to stop and listen. Try to understand other people. I don't have any doubt that by giving you my armies, I will be on the side of the just. You have my full support. Side of the just. Pfft. You are joining a dead man, Faboian. Five weeks from now, and you'll both be eating dirt. I won't give the Rodovians any slack. I'll make sure my borders are strongly enforced. Damn you, Eric. Did you have to listen to this namby-pamby righteous bumpkin? Okay. So how many troops did we get? I didn't see any, like, actual addition of soldiers. Um, Hunter, take the day off. I mean, I guess everybody can take the day off. I, I could use a turn to get a little bit more gold. Then we can bring you all back next week. So. Okay. Hello, peasant. Sorry. Oh. 
okay. I, my people took the day off. Come back tomorrow. Yeah, I've got supplies for you. Okay, let's go to the gardens and talk to our daughter. Oh, it took 25 gold, not supplies. Whatever. You wanted to see me? I'm leaving, father. Me and Maya are going to go travel the world. Seriously? Can't you wait? Fine, maybe you can have a happy life as the rest of us all die behind the walls. Nope, we're all gonna die and you're gonna be off doing your own thing. Oh well. Pumpkin. <laughs> I will never leave you, pumpkin. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, honey, I let our daughter go away. <laughs> Another daughter's gone. I guess we're just gonna speed run through to the battle then and see what happens. Hopefully that other guy shows up with his thousand soldiers, because if he doesn't, we're fucked. Okay. Three weeks until the siege. I was planning on going to bed, but I guess we're so close to the siege anyway, we might as well play through it. Anyone who sees a witch is called upon to contact the nearest guard post. If such an outpost is unreachable, it is deemed fair to prosecute such individuals personally. Women living alone on the outskirts of towns and villages are particularly suspicious. Women with black hair are also more likely to perform evil practices. Also, women who are exceptionally alluring. Another sign of a witch is the keeping of pets, be it a fox, a squirrel, a black cat especially. Witches and any diabolical practices are forbidden. Okay. Okay. Maybe she's not really dead. Oh, no. Give me your damn gold. Bear in the council chamber! Ah! 
такое? Nein. Dude, I'm totally gonna get my youngest daughter killed by this bear. Hey honey, just to let you know, the bear's gone mad, but I'm still letting the bear hang out. You need to calm down. How can I? My daughter's playing with a bear. Well, that's a fair point, I suppose. Maybe she can find another cat. I don't really want to do anything about the bear. Please don't make me do it. I don't want to be... I don't want... I don't want to be the bad guy. What do you want? Have fun with the witch. Wait, didn't I just send the witch? I'm confused. <sighs> I, it's, okay, apparently I sent the general. Whatever. All right, so everything's built. That needs to be built. All the supplies that we need are stored away. The army's up to 304 people. We're two weeks before the siege. The other army of about 1,000 men will arrive after the siege begins. Who the hell is this person? Why do they have a scarecrow? I don't need that shit, so go away. Why? Who are you? Oh my god. My people are happy. Look, it's a merchant. I'm gonna buy everything that you have, because I don't actually know what matters. Pretty sure I just bought everything that he had. I'm sorry, dude. I don't. Carrots. 
I just spent all my gold. Maybe I have, uh... Six more soldiers joining the ranks. Will you join me in the upcoming battle? Yes. One week. As many soldiers as we can get. We still have a bunch of places. Oh my god, look at all those places that came up. I think most of them are places I didn't actually help them with. Maybe the bear will help us in this war. Th thank you, dragon. Alright, well, we'll see what happens. Can Rodovia maybe come to my aid? I helped them so much. The siege is next week. King Eric and Queen Aurelia decided to perform a ritual, hoping that it'll bring an heir to the throne. I don't think I had everything I needed, did I? Blah, 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 blah. What am I supposed to do? Oh god, I didn't look at any of this. I'm just guessing! Ah! What am I supposed to do? Wow, what just happened?
There are complications. Your wife may die. What? Oh no! Continue! Ah! I must have an heir no matter the cost. Oh my god. My heart. Oh my god, I'm just like, whatever. She's dead, doesn't matter. Let me see the boy. Whoa. That was so cold. The king was just like, let me see my son. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. It was a monumental episode. Our daughter, Acelia, has left uh, with her lover on uh, adventuring the world. Our wife was killed in childbirth due to our indifference. But hey, we got a son and an heir, so that's what matters, right? Um, God, what a horrible episode. Uh, and now we're on the verge of the siege of, uh, of Granovo. And so this seems like as good of a place as any to stop. We'll go ahead and wrap this series up in the next episode with the battle for Granovo. Uh, as we sort of move toward the conclusion of this series. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know your thoughts below. Uh, and until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you for watching. And until next time, I'm out.